Okay. <clears throat> For the MRCS, before you start, like you have to know certain things for the exam, like what are the structure of the exam, right? So I will suggest this, these are big, uh, normally the practical things that I'm going to say. It's wise, whenever you're going to give your exam, before your exam, try to reach uh, in the center, at least one or one and a half or two hours prior to your exam, okay? Because there are some registration will be doing, your identity will be checked and everything will be done. Okay, so it needs some time, so better to go there instead of hurrying to your exam center, whenever and wherever it is, maybe, okay? Also, before your exam, there'll be a briefing, and at the end of your exam, there'll be a debriefing session as well, okay? That means the RCS guy will come there. There'll be two RCS personnel over there. One is responsible for your uh, exam coordination, and Another director will be there who is responsible for all the four uh, Royal Colleges, okay? So what does it mean is the director who is responsible for looking over the RCS, that means if you have any problem to any station, any anything you are not uh, happy with, you can always complain, okay? You can complain against an examiner as well. So that means this is a fair exam, okay? All right, before your exam, you will be given a light lunch or a breakfast, a tea or coffee. During your exam, you will be, have, you will be having some water. Also some, um, uh, in some centers, it, it varies center to center. They offer some light snacks or only the water will be there, okay? When you, we, we will cross station by station, you will see there are some lots of lots of water bottles up there. So better to rehydrate yourself uh, whenever you have that um, like facilities to go. Don't worry, you will have the restroom, okay? And you can use that whenever you have some uh, time. That means you are in a rest, uh, rest station, you can utilize that. Just simply raise your hand, say, I, I want to go to the restroom, okay? They will escort you into the restroom and you can do, uh, utilize your time, no problem, okay? Always remember, you cannot keep anything, okay, with you except stethoscope. Okay, anything means anything. You cannot keep money bag, the phone, pen, paper, passport, everything you cannot take inside of the exam center. So what what, what will uh, you do if uh, suppose you are giving your exam in India, okay, or you are giving your exam in um, maybe uh, Kuala Lumpur. So of course you are going to bring your phone, your passport. So they will give you a locker room, a personal space, where you can keep all the things, okay? Till now, do you have any further queries? Please ask. Any question? You, you want to say anything? Please ask me. Anyone has any queries? No, I guess, all right. So normally the structure of our exam, previously it was 18, but now um, the new curriculum, uh, it's a total of 17 stations, okay? So in the 17th station, you have the knowledge part and the skill part, okay? The knowledge part is there are eight stations and in the skill part, there are nine stations, okay? That means in the skill, what we have, we have the anatomy, then critical care and the pathology. From anatomy, we are going to have uh, three station from critical care, three station and patho three station we will be discussing each of those stations later on. Okay, what are the rest stations? What does it mean about the rest station is, simply if I can draw something for you is, suppose this is your station, okay? This is station number one, this is station number two, this is station number three, and this is our rest station, okay? This is our rest station. Then again, uh, this is station number four, Station number five, six, and there is a rest station, suppose. So it varies center to center. How many rest stations you can have, it will depend on the center itself, okay? So the thing is, suppose you are going to start with anatomy, maybe, okay? Maybe anatomy, then patho, then again anatomy. So it will be a mixed station, and that is that has been fixed by the RCS itself, so you don't know which exactly what stations is going to have, 
okay, there. So you don't know, know about those things. So, and the rest station is simply you are going to rest over there, okay? Suppose you are going to give your exam in maybe in India or maybe in Kuala Lumpur, maybe in Egypt, maybe in um, uh, somewhere like in, in Sri Lanka, maybe. Okay, so for those centers, normally the rest stations are uh, more, okay? Because they want to uh, gather more of the candidates during their exam. Whereas in UK centers, the rest stations are less. Okay, so it's like somewhat controversial. Like um, some 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 candidates says uh, like more rest stations are good, and someone says like no. Uh, if we don't have more rest stations, that means our exam uh, will be finishing within time, within less time, right? So it's less stressful because each you need you have to know what is the time frame about each of the station. So. Each of the station have 10 minutes, okay? One minute to read your stem and another nine minutes for your performance. And then in some other stations like in clinical examination, in history taking, these nine minutes is subdivided into two, that is six minutes and three minutes. We'll be discussing about those things again. Okay, now the rest station is also 10 minutes and here you're going to do nothing except by sitting there and you cannot talk to uh, anyone else or you cannot do anything except using your restroom. So I, I will suggest if you are having any restroom, drink a lots of lots of water to rehydrate yourself and then just use the restroom whenever you can. Whenever you have that rest station, just go and use that, okay? So um, this is normally the structure of the time and the overall structure. Anyone you have, uh, you can ask the question, please. Anyone has any further queries? Please, I'm just breaking it down so that uh, it will be a little bit easier for all of you. Anyone? Excuse me, sir. For this yes. communication skill uh, tokens, uh, I think we have one preparation station and then the performance station, right? Right, right, right. So that preparation station is counted as a risk station or it's just a preparation one separate? No, no, it's not a rest station. It's a uh, station. The preparatory station itself is a station. So it means that total of more than 17 stations will be there. Uh, no, 17 stations, that means you need to perform. Rest, rest, stations are, rest stations are extra. The preparatory stations are extra. Wow. These 17 stations, you need to perform, okay? Uh, if I can subdivide this again for you, so it will be, uh, I think, nice for all of you. Okay. This 17 station, as I said, knowledge eight and the skill is nine, right? This knowledge is divided into three. That is one is anatomy. Second is critical care. And third is patho. Okay. So anatomy has three station three, critical care is also having three and the patho is having two stations. This is total of eight. You got this, Dr. Parash? Please reply. Yes, sir. All right, okay. And yes. in the skill, in the skill part, here you will have four subdivision, okay? So first of all, there is some clinical examination Clinical examination stations are three. Next, you have history taking, two stations, procedural skills, two station, and communication, two station. Total, nine station, clear. Now, the rest station and the preparatory stations, those are extra station. Okay, but total 17 stations, you need to perform yourself. You get that? Yes, sir. Okay, very nice. Okay, anyone has any other queries? You didn't understand about that? Anything, please, you can ask. <clears throat> sir, 
so all the 17 stations are mixed or just the knowledge part eight stations are mixed is the knowledge okay. and skill part uh, all the 17 stations yes, are yes. mixed yes yes oh, okay. okay simply what happens is uh, it it varies center to center okay maybe if you are going to give your exam in uk this is uh, mixed mixed okay the uh, the way we do in the simulation model you see uh, one station is from knowledge and another station is from uh, maybe uh, from skill part right maybe you are doing anatomy then in the next there is procedural skills so it's it's a yes. sort of a uk center like right so uk centers are mixed these are mixed, but normally in um, in the uh, other areas in in our subcontinent like India, like uh, Kuala Lumpur, like uh, Sri Lanka, it's like you will have two base. Okay, uh, one is knowledge and another one is skill. So that means you will be given all the knowledge first, and then all the skills in the second place. Okay, or you can start with the skill part, then you can give the knowledge part. So it's not mixed, okay, in, in our subcontinent, but in UK, mostly it's a mixed stations you can have. Clear, Dr. Rasma? Yes, sir, okay. All right, okay. Okay, so as, as we said about the knowledge, the subdivisions are here, and about the skills, uh, all the stations, uh, as I said. Okay, let's let's dive in about the anatomy. Okay, about the anatomy stations. What we are going to learn from the anatomy stations itself is um, in anatomy stations. Mostly, the station will start like when you are going to enter into the station. First of all, there is a stem, right? So in the wall, maybe you are uh, uh, like uh, sitting or standing in a hallway, okay? And there are rooms and rooms and rooms and rooms, just like that in the corridor you are standing. And in front of each room, there is a wall or there is a door upon what like uh, there is a like uh, paper is stuck over there. And you need to go and read the stem, okay? And you will hear, uh, read the stem please, or enter into the station. The station starts, the exam starts, something like that. Okay, so there is some voice you can hear, and according to that, you need to do all those all those things. Don't worry. Maybe you are forgetting to start, and there are a lots of lots of people who are uh, there to guide you. Okay, so don't worry about that. They are going to guide you. Like if you did some mistake, like if you are uh, going to another room, they will guide you. No, don't worry. In every room, okay, uh, there are some stops up there. Okay, so they're there just because they can help you. All right. Before you enter into the station, as I said, there's a stem. So you're going to read the stem at first and nor for, nor, normally for anatomy, uh, the stem will be some somewhat like, as you saw in the uh, simulation mock, that uh, you, you will be shown some pictures, okay? Or you will be asked uh, for the human body. Now you have to give some answers for that, right? So the questions, the stem will be simply like that. Anatomy station starts like simply, there will be some images, okay? A high quality images, or there is a iPad will be there, okay? So you, you need to see those pictures and then they're going to ask you a few questions regarding that, okay? Simply, suppose uh, they can give this picture, okay? And they're going to point, there will be some point like this or like uh, arrow, okay? Or only you can see only number 16, uh, not number 14, not two, not 18, not 19, no. Just only 16 or 25 and they're going to ask you, okay, can you please identify number 16 and number 25 for me, please? So simply you're going to identify about the structure, okay? Normally, it, it starts like that. And when you can identify, and then next questions come, okay? Uh, maybe what are the relation, what are the uh, nerve supply of that? What is the action? What is the, uh, everything they can ask. What are the supplies? What are the function? Everything they can ask according to those questions, okay? For anatomy, don't panic, okay? 
simply how like maybe you are thinking right in this picture there are lots of lots of things to identify how i can um keep uh in my mind about all those stuffs no need okay simply every picture is specific so you need to keep those specific things in your mind and that's when we, we will start the specific uh course class from tomorrow in anatomy the specific thing you will understand what are the specific things you need to know okay and all the other things is just for your orientation if you want you can look if you don't it's fine completely no problem and these are repeated stations okay so no problem about this so normally your anatomy station will start just like this so you're going to start and identify normally and other things what you can have is maybe there are some dummy or maybe a real patient will be there and they can ask all right can you please tell me about the surface anatomy of that um, uh, can you tell me what is the movement of that where you can uh, palpate the adv the arterial dorsal spades can you show it on the living subject so simply they can do some sort of things for that but normally it starts with the identifying points and then they are going to ask the related questions out of it okay so anatomy you are going to have three stations i will say anatomy is the most easiest and also the most hardest part of the uh, our uh, mrcs exam okay because why from the very beginning from our journey of our uh, medical life we started with anatomy right but can you remember all of those things no because why we can only remember certain few normal uh, large things right but here you, you need to keep all those tiny things in your mind which is so much volatile and uh, after a while after 10 days or 15 days you will forget everything trust me during our class when we are going to start the class you will understand everything it will be so easy for you and just after uh, maybe um, we finish the anatomy and after 7 days i am going to ask you a few questions anatomy you are completely blank in your mind trust me it will happen and it happened uh, during our last course as well okay after we finish the anatomy i asked one question after we finish the knowledge part and so everyone was like completely like blank so because why anatomy is easy and it's volatile everything will be out of your mind uh, after a few okay so what you need to do is you need to do a complete revision okay whenever you can so anatomy is easy and try you can have a full mark from the anatomy okay and they they like normally they are not bringing new questions new things are very less than the patho okay the pathology is the hardest i will say why so anatomy is easy and nowadays in recent days in last two exams they have bring a uh, one or two extra picture okay that's why i have tried to teach you um with a 3d models okay you will see and understand what is what is the concept of 3d teaching tomorrow inshallah so i will show you every aspect of the human anatomy body so you can understand much better way okay all right so anyone has any queries um, against the anatomy station this three station you can ask please anyone Uh, will there be only pictures set will there be also uh, like real bones yes it can be yes like uh, some sometimes they can give you the bones to articulate itself okay uh, normally in your exam if you are going to give the in uk they can bring you bring you the real bones okay but uh, i want to say one more extra thing is Uh, all of you know what is the hybrid system do you know what is the hybrid system of exam no i guess all right uh, so yeah. okay uh, dr mini uh, do you know what is the hybrid system 
they they conduct the exam using uh, uh, online a uh, Zoom yes, or something exactly. like that. Exactly right, right, right. So there will be a screen, okay, and uh, you can see the examiner, and the examiner can see you, and they're going to do it just like the uh, Zoom meeting, right? So in hybrid, uh, it's mostly unlikely to have those real bones. But if you are going to give your exam in UK, that means there is a physical uh, examiner will be present, right? So in that case, uh, normally they give more of those bones to articulate, to show those things and everything in normally in the UK. But in other hybrid center, there will be some pictures, okay? And they will ask you, all right, can you please tell me from the picture A, okay, uh, the point two will be articulating with picture B at which point, okay? Somewhat like that. So you need to identify those things where they can articulate and just simply say them, okay? It will be just like that for the hybrid system. But for UK, yes, they can bring some new ones to show the parts, to like uh, hold that in a correct position to articulate them. Also, they can bring in the hybrid system as well. So it depends on their system as well. Okay. I hope you you, you get your answer, Dr. Mini. Uh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. so also, uh, which stations uh, would they... Uh, like test with hybrid system? Uh, which station? Like the test? as uh, not knowledge, uh, knowledge stations? Yes, only? knowledge, yes. Yes, only knowledge stations, yes. In the skill part, there must be some physical examiner and the patient, yes. Only the knowledge part. Uh, I see, sir, thank you. All right, okay. Anyone else, any question? for the anatomy, Dr. Alazar. Uh, is there any preference of anatomy station based on the center? For example, if it is UK or every anatomy is covered every... Uh, I, I didn't get your question. I cannot hear properly maybe. That's why I'm really sorry. Can you repeat? Is there any uh, preference of uh, anatomy station based on uh, the same time where you are taking your exam? Or there will be no... Everywhere? Uh, okay, are you asking about the preparatory station, about the anatomy? Yeah, is there okay. preference no. based on the center that you are taking the exam? Okay, there is no preparatory station before your anatomy is uh, uh, real station, okay? So you will enter and you will have all the nine minutes and there is no preparatory station for you, okay? Everything is prepared in front of the table and uh, you don't have to go for anything to grab and uh, anything to bring on, no. Everything is there, everything is in front of the table and there is no preparatory station. Okay, Dr. al -Azhar? Thank you. All right. Anyone else wants to ask anything according to uh, for the anatomy stations? All right, okay. Next is our critical care, applied surgical science and critical care, okay? So for this, you will have, again, three stations, okay? And in most of the candidates, fear of these critical care stations. I don't know why, but I will say these are the most easiest, most easier form of your MRCS exam, okay? Because these has some um, uh, relation with your clinical practice, okay? Again, you are going to have a stem, okay? In front of your uh, station, you are going to read the stem and you are going to enter into the station. There, there is no preparatory stations as well. Only the preparatory stations you will have in the communication. Okay, no preparatory stations other than that. Keep that in your mind, everyone. All right, for the critical care, normally you can have uh, X-ray, uh, CT scan, uh, ABG, also um, um, other, other lab reports in front of your table, okay? And they can ask, okay, what are the biochemical abnormalities? What are the ABG? Uh, what are the uh, chest X-ray you can see? Can you please comment on that? Uh, can you see that CT? Can you comment on that? So all of those things you can have, okay? 
And mostly, most important thing is you have to know the ATLS protocol and the TRIS protocol, okay? We are going to discuss all of those things in the critical care stations. So it's all the stations, the way I have made the uh, our uh, study materials, it's, it is divided into the TRIS protocol stations and the ATLS protocol stations. Normally what have, what happened is, during your exam, you're going to have uh, two stations from the critical care and one station from the ATLS protocol stations. The ATLS protocol means uh, there are only four stations of the ATLS protocol. That means uh, there is a trauma, okay, uh, to a patient and you are going to uh, you are going to manage that patient and they're going to ask you a few questions regarding those things. And the critical care stations are mostly like there is some problem for the patient, the patient is critically ill and how, how you are going to manage those patient, what are the complications can have, what are the investigations you are going to do, what is the CRISP protocol, everything. Simply just like that, okay? So again, you are going to have three stations, okay? And um, these are really, really easy stations. Anyone has any queries about the critical care? You can ask, please. Anyone has any queries? Will we see um, uh, actual X-ray set? Yes. Yes. Uh, and you okay, have to I diagnose. Can... You have to diagnose in the actual CT, actual chest X-ray, or uh, abdominal X-ray, or uh, actual ECG, ABG, everything you need to identify, and you have to make the proper diagnosis. Don't worry, everything is set up, okay? This this exam is all set up. So everything is there in the notes and uh, we will go through everything that you are that you are going to have in your exam. Don't worry about those things, okay? You don't have to do the master over the CT scan, over the CT, uh, X-ray, ABG, no need, okay? We'll be doing those things during our class, during our course, inshallah, okay? Don't worry about those things, all right. Anyone has any other queries about the critical care stations? Okay. Our next is patho. Okay. Pathology stations are the most hardest part in your MRCS. Um, how can I uh, describe? Okay. Till now, you got the idea about the anatomy and the critical care, right? So mostly anatomy stations are fixed. The skill parts are fixed, okay? You can have new stations. What does it mean by the new station? So we have some preset stations in our materials, right? So for the last few years, it doesn't change. But in case of pathology, most frequently they change the question and they change the station itself, okay? Um, in, in Cairo, March, they have added new stations uh, along with uh, osteomyelitis, the actinomycosis. Also, they have um, given all the new questions of uh, FAP stations. And yesterday uh, in UK, they have added a new questions for uh, gallbladder polyps. I, have, I was talking with one of the candidates uh, most of you may know uh, Dr. Fariel. Uh, her exam was uh, yesterday and she was talking with me. And she said like there are some, some new questions and uh, they, they had some uh, new questions for only patho and other stations are simply just like as, as it is in our course material. So, so the problem is in patho, no matter what, and uh, you can study, you can have new questions and you will be completely blown out. You will be having some blank head during your exam. So whenever I start the course, I say, don't worry about the pathology. It's just two stations. So if you can perform half, okay, that means you're going to have at least 10 marks from one of that. That means in total, you can have 20 marks. I will give you the complete um, mark distribution and break down how you can pass this, right? So don't worry about the patho. If you cannot perform well, it doesn't affect your result because we will be doing our best for our anatomy and also our critical care. But the way I have um, 
designed our classes. So we will be talking about the basics of patho, all the other things you have to know. So I hope with all of those residual knowledge, you can have a very good patho stations as well, okay? Normally what happens in, in patho is, again, it has been divided into two. One is uh, general stations and another one is cancer stations. And you will find that in the course material as well, okay? The, um, at first, there are some general stations are there. And in the last, there are some cancer stations, okay? So one stations always comes from the general stations and another one is from the cancer stations, okay? About the normal stations, they will they are going to ask you about the inflammation, infection, about the uh, mostly inflammation and infection, okay? And they will ask you some certain diseases like osteomyelitis, maybe uh, FAP, maybe the infective endocarditis, okay? Maybe diverticulitis. All of those, these are few uh, aortic stenosis. These are few uh, key stations you can have in your exam. And from the cancer stations, you can have different types of cancer like gastric cancer, gallbladder cancer, uh, colon cancer, all of those things you can have from the cancer station. So in general, in general topic, they're going to start with a certain disease station and they're going to ask you general pathology questions, okay? Uh, like uh, they can ask about you, the homo how the homeostasis works, okay? What is infection? What is inflammation? What is abscess? What is pass? Okay, all of those questions you, they can ask you from patho. And in, in cancer stations, Mostly they are focused on histopathology report. Okay, uh, what what is the biopsy report says, and what are how, how you can tell its grading, what is staging, all of those things from the cancer stations. Normally they are going to start from the cancer, and then they are going to ask you a few general questions regarding those cancer stations. Okay, this is normally the pathology stations, but this is again very tough because they're going to bring some new questions and you don't know from where they can give those uh, questions, mostly from the Robins, mostly, mostly from Robins, okay? So anyone has any queries uh, for the battle stations, please? Please, you can ask. This is again, you're going to start with the stem and then when you are going to enter, they're going to start your uh, asking the questions, okay? And I hope all of you, you can complete this knowledge part, maybe six or seven minutes, okay? You guys will be a bomb during your exam, inshallah. And I hope like uh, you don't have to like uh, uh, spend all of your nine minutes. I don't think so because these are preset questions and those are easy. So simply you're going to brush fire the examiner and you're going to pass this. Okay, all right. Can anyone, uh, anyone has any queries? Please you can ask. I'll be happy to give you the answer. No questions, all right. Very good. <clears throat> okay, now we are in a skill part, okay? In skill part, we have uh, communication. Can you remember how many stations are uh, communication station? How many, Dr. Abdul? Two stations. Exactly. So communication is two stations. One is communication with person, okay? Like the relative, the person can be a, a patient himself or herself or the patient's relative, maybe the wife, maybe the uh, mother, okay? So this, whenever it comes to communication, you are going to have one preparatory station before you start your main station. What does it mean? Maybe um, you are going to start the communication and you are in a preparatory station. That means the preparatory station will be just like the same as the communication station, but there is no examiner, okay? 
when you are going to start the preparatory registration, you will have one stem in front of your door. You are going to read the stem, and after one minute, you are going to enter into the preparatory registration. What is uh, what are the things in the preparatory registration you, you, you are going to have? Right, simply one table and one tool or chair in in front uh, of the table. You are going to have one case file of the patient, and you are going to read the, those case files and you will be given one paper and pen, okay? And you're going to write down the important findings in, inside of your paper. And whenever your time is up for the preparatory station, you are going to enter into the main station where you are going to perform in front of the patient. There will be a real patient, uh, like a real person, not a real patient. Of course, there will be an actor, and with whom you need to talk, okay? Inside of the communication station with the patient or relative, that means communication with person, there'll be three person. One is the examiner. Next one is examiner two, who is a layman examiner. That means they're going to judge your layman language. All of you, whenever you are going to talk with the patient or the relatives, you cannot use the medical jargon, right? You need to talk in a layman language. So they are going to give you marks for that. The examiner himself will be marking you uh, based on that. Uh, if you, you cannot talk anything like, um, which is not real, okay? That means you, you cannot talk anything like, which doesn't make any sense in the medical terms, okay? And the person, you will have a person and you need to talk with that person only. So this is the communication person station. And after um, this, uh, I will discuss everything whenever it comes for specific stations more elaborately, of course. And I will give you the tips and tricks uh, how you can perform very well. Okay, next is the communication phone call. Here, you will have again one preparatory station and you are going to do the same thing, okay? Uh, you will have a case file. You need to study that case file. You're going to um, write down over the paper, and then you are going to enter into the real station. And in the real station, you will see, maybe in UK centers, you, are, you can see a phone, okay? And they will ask you to push a button to make a call. Or in hybrid station, there will be a screen, but you cannot see any person, just it's a voice. So it's a phone call. That means you are going to uh, talk with a consultant or a registrar. That means your colleague or a senior person, you're going to talk. Here, no need to use the layman language. You need to use the medical jargon. You need to show the professionalism, okay? That's the two of the communication stations. Anyone has any queries, you can ask, please. So what do we have to do in preparative station? Which station? Preparative station for yes. this part. Yes. In the preparatory station, you are going to have a case file, okay? That means the patient's case file. When the patient admitted, what are the problems patient had? What are the history? What are the labs has been done? What are the um, um, plan has been taken for this patient? Everything is in the notes. It's almost... I will say 18 or 20 page case file. So you have to read those case files, okay? And you have to write down the specific things, what you need to talk about, all of those things. But don't worry after hearing all of these things because these are preset things and everything is in the our study materials as well. So I will make you understand the basic concepts of the communication whenever we are going to have the class of the communication, okay? Dr. Uh, uh, Anand, okay? Sir. okay? Yes, sir. Don't worry about that. Yes. Everything, we, okay. we, we got this. Okay, okay anyone else wants to ask anything? Okay. So how much time for the registration? 10 minutes? 10 minutes, yes. 10 minutes. One minute, stem, and nine minutes for your preparation. Okay. okay. All right. Next is 
physical examination that is clinical examination stations you are going to have three stations again in the clinical examination this is very very tough okay the clinical examination is very tough why because you need to do a lots of lots of practice for this if you cannot do uh, practice properly that means during your exam you will forget what to do so how it uh, works simply you are going to have one stem again after one minute you are going to enter into the station okay you will see there is one examiner and there is one patient in this case the patient can be a real patient or an actor okay maybe suppose you are going to examine a patient uh, inguinal hernia okay or hydrocele so of course the patient will be a real patient or a fistula of course the, the patient will be a real patient okay but in case suppose um, you are going to have a patient with knee pain okay so they can act the the patient is having some pain the patient can act so in that case you are going to have a uh, actor as well so it actually doesn't matter you are going to have an actor or the real patient what matters is you know the exact things the exact steps you need to perform during the clinical examination stations okay which we will discuss in our classes here you can you have to know the clinical examinations the classical i say the classical examination of abdomen the chest the uh, cardiovascular examination you have to know the uh, cranial nerve examination you have to know the orthopedic examination also some um, like uh, the brain the cerebellum also the hernia hydrocele av fistula all of those things you have to know okay there are a total of 25 stations are there you have to know and these clinical examination stations are divided into two okay what does it mean is this station as i said uh, the, the, what is the time of these stations 10 right 10 minutes right so one minute for your stem and nine minutes for your performance these nine minutes is divided into two so now you're going to have six minutes in your hand to do the clinical examination over the patient and after the six if the six minutes is over you cannot do any kind of examination okay it's done if six minutes is over and that's why it's so hard within this short time within these six minutes it's very hard to go through and do all those all those steps if you don't know perfectly what you need to do and that's why this is very hard after the six minutes you have three minutes within these three minutes what you have to do is you need to present your case and then the examiner is going to ask you a few questions and you have to give them some answers okay so better a sweet spot to finish your station of the examination is five minutes that means you will have one minute in your hand and that can add here okay that means for your presentation and uh, question answer session you are going to have four minutes okay so we will go through the steps every step okay step by step so that you will learn how these clinical examination steps can be done very easily okay inshallah we can do that anyone has any queries for this clinical examination station anyone no question very good okay next is history taking here you are going to have two stations of history taking what do you need to do you need to simply take a history from the patient okay maybe the patient is uh, having some abdominal pain the patient is an alcoholic abuser also there is an ulcer uh, previously diagnosed okay now they have come in the accident emergency you are a surgical SHO and you have been asked to take a complete history from this patient and you cannot uh, do other other things okay simply you need to do uh, history 
this will be a stem for you. And when you're going to enter into the station, you'll see there is a patient, okay? And there are two, again, two examiner will be there. One is a medical examiner and another one is a layman examiner. What does it mean? Whenever you are going to communicate with the patient, that means whenever it comes to communication, you cannot use the medical driver. Please, those are some professionalism you have to show. And you have to show a lots of lots of care, a lots of empathy towards the patient. Also in the in the um, communication, in in the clinical examination, in the history taking. Whenever it comes to in touch with the patient, okay, or in a person, you have to show all of those things. You cannot use the medical jargon. Other than the medical personnel, you cannot use that. Okay, in the history taking, what you have to do is there are almost um, 20 stations you have to go through, okay? Uh, one like uh, maybe cancer colon, maybe uh, thyroid stations, maybe there are uh, some other station uh, related to orthopedics, some stations related to urinary systems, some stations are related to the uh, psychological systems as well. Okay, so you have to go through all of those things. Yesterday and in March, Cairo, they have added new station that is preoperative total hip replacement station. And don't worry, we got this. Uh, you will have the new stations in the study materials tomorrow. Inshallah, I'm, I'm doing that. And I hope I can finish tonight after this session and I will be uploading that into the, our course uh, drive. So the new station, that means you can have this station. Okay, whenever it comes in UK, this means you can have this station in our subcontinent as well. So this station is very important for all of us. Okay, anyone, anyone has any queries about the history taking station? Please, you can ask. So do we need to present the history to someone? In this yes, station? yes, yes, yes. This station, again, this is, again, as I said, you have 10 minutes, right? One minute and nine minutes for performance. Again, this station will be divided, as I said earlier, into six minutes and three minutes. Six minutes to ask all the questions you need. We have specific uh, approaches, specific um, system of going, right? So we have 10 steps approach, five steps approach. We'll be giving, I will be giving you all those tips. Okay, don't worry. And here, after you ask all the questions within six minutes, you are going to again do the presentation. You need to present your case towards the examiner. And then again, the examiner here is going to ask you a few questions and you need to give some answers to the patient, uh, to the examiner himself, okay? So it's easy and somewhat crucial if you cannot uh, like, perform well, that means you cannot uh, finish all the questions you need to ask to the patient within six minutes. So I will uh, say, try to practice within five minutes, okay? So that in the real exam, you will have one minute in your hand. So you can utilize that by your okay. Okay, Dr. Parash? Dr. Anand, sorry. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. All right. Okay, anyone has any queries? for the history taking as well. So can we uh, uh, note down some points uh, during history taking stations? Sir? Yes, yes you can. Uh, will we'll be the discussing, pen and yes, we'll be discussing all the things in the history. Taking. I'm not like, you know, diving in uh, the history. Taking. What are the tips you need? What are the things? I'm just giving you the overall structure. Yes, in history taking, you are going to have the pen and paper in your hand. You can write down everything you need, but I will discourage you to do that. Okay, it's not wise to do so. Simply you can do, uh, you can write the patient name, patient age, okay? And uh, some important findings you are going to have, okay? While you are looking towards the patient, okay? So you need to do some practice of writing down by looking towards anything else, okay? So I will I will say what are the things you need to do uh, mm -hmm. in specific stations, okay, Dr. Mini? Uh, okay, okay, sir. Any other question? Any 
any other question please regarding the history taking all right next is our procedural skills okay here you are going to have two stations and there are a total of 12 stations you have to go through okay and you have to learn is uh, maybe they can give you an abscess and you need to incise that there is some nevus you need to do the excision there is a ot listing there is a simple wound you need to do the suture there is a male genital you need to do a catheterization also some certain stations are there always remember you do not have to perform anything over a real patient of course there is a maquette maquette is like um uh, all of you know what is maquette right or not no sir okay uh, maquette is like a that plastic model dummy yes the dummy or the models okay <laughs> Uh, that means maybe there is an abscess, uh, suppose the abscess. So there is an abscess pad. Okay, there is an abscess pad. It is tied over the patient thigh. Okay, so you will have a real patient, but the abscess area where you are going to perform, it's a maquette. It. It's not a real patient's body. Okay, because uh, the think logically. Are you allowed to do the procedural skills over the patient? No, of course not, right? So you're going to perform all the things over a maquette, uh, maybe a model, okay, uh, plastic models. So all of those things you're going to perform over those things, not a real, not over a real patient, but of course you are going to have some real person and upon them, everything is tied up and you have to go and do that. There are certain approaches for the procedural skills, okay? There are some 10 steps approach. Again, I will discuss all those things. So everyone uh, ask me, okay, I don't have any future experience, okay? I am, I, I didn't do any kind of operation or, or nothing. So uh, do I need to do some certain uh, uh, like uh, training for this exam? No, like, like completely no why because it's not about your procedure itself it's all about system okay what system maybe when you're going to start your station they're going to give you some mark if you just simply wash your hand that's a mark okay if you can put your sharp okay maybe the sharp object into the sharp bin they will give you some mark okay if you can ask or explain the procedure in a layman language to the patient and you're going to take a verbal consent, you'll have a mark. If you can check the expiry date of everything, of every instrument you are going to use, okay, which uh, will have some cover on it, you will have some mark. Whenever you're going to start, if you can simply ask, all right, can you check the WHO surgical safety checklist for, for this patient, please? You'll have a mark. Okay, what does it mean is you need to know the system of the NHS to pass these procedural skills. It doesn't matter how bad or how good you are in during your procedure. Okay, it doesn't affect, it doesn't matter. Okay, maybe you cannot incise the abscess a very straight line. No problem, no problem. Maybe you are suturing our wound and this is not so nice looking. It's fine, no problem, okay? So what does it mean is you have to know the uh, structure of the NHS, which matters, okay? So if you can check and if you can perform and do according to their system, that means you can pass. So don't worry if you didn't perform any of these things before, still you are going to pass this. Don't worry about that, okay? Any question for the procedural skills, please you can ask. Anyone has any queries? Please.
no question that's good okay <clears throat> so did you got the overall structure of these 17 stations that you are going to study and upon which you are going to give your exam everyone the 17 stations now is it inside of your brain any question do you know how it works do you know what are the what is rest station what is preparatory stations yes sir okay good everyone anyone has any queries dr uh, dr ruma can you talk sorry i'm on my way to home i can't talk yeah, right fine. now it's fine but did you understand no problem if you couldn't understand yeah, yeah. because of your because of your uh, time maybe i will upload this into the drive so you can watch this again no problem okay uh doctor thank you so much it yeah, will no be problem. very much helpful no it's fine no completely fine dr ashwat did you understand everything every stations properly understood sir all right fantastic okay so <clears throat> about the study materials the study materials is very important okay so before before this before our course people are used to study from different sources okay i am not going to say the names of the famous courses but people are used to study from those materials before my uh, my course so the thing is everything is same almost you will see the 70% of those things are almost similar okay why similar because these are prefix stations the exact same thing you are going to have in your exam okay but the problem is in some notes maybe the anatomy is very good okay but critical care is not in some some notes the history taking is very good but other parts are not in some notes the clinical examination part is very good but other parts are not so what is the important is for your study to pick the study materials is you have to have a complete compact study material that is organized and full of things okay and of course another most important is it needs to be updated so that's why i have designed that like you don't have to look for anything else okay if you have this that means only this study material is enough to have almost 90% uh, questions uh in your exam you are going to found exactly from the study material why i am saying 90% why not 100% because this is the rule of the rcs is you cannot answer the 10% of your exam this is the standard of the rcs no one ever can uh, have the 100% marks never it's impossible to have okay that's why i'm saying the 90% if i'm i'm going to say you can have 100% of the questions that will be the same from the study materials that will be a lie okay so i'm going to say is 90% you are going to have from the study materials okay so please don't worry about the some some candidates some people they are like they wants to collect the study materials by for themselves no need okay just simply stick to one compact very essential study materials that i will be giving you that i will be providing you you can look for other things but you will understand after a while why i am saying this okay you will see uh, this is so much easier to approach for your exam and i update it like within like whenever uh, there is a new stations or new questions you will see after one or two days i will update update that so yesterday there is a new station is there uh, in the uk and i will update inshallah tonight or tomorrow okay so uh, i hope you understand about the study materials as well and about the study materials um, there is some books so some people 
find it difficult to study from online, right? So in the drive, what you have the study material, some, some people is like, uh, they cannot study from the um, screen. So during my first course, uh, I didn't have that books, okay, the physical book. So from the next course, I started this book and uh, I think almost maybe 70% of you have my books already, uh, maybe. And still, if you don't have, no, no problem. If you can read from the screen, that's completely fine. No need for the book because these, these both, both of them are the same thing, okay? All right, this is all about the study materials. Anyone has to ask anything about this? Uh, okay, let me ask on behalf of you, okay? Because I got a lots of lots of questions from this, uh, okay. So someone asked me, okay, do we need to uh, have the subscription for the, from the past de Marcias? No need, why? Because I have included all those questions as well, okay. Some asked, okay, do I need to uh, subscribe for the uh, Geeky Medics? Because they, they give some new things as well. No, I have subscribed this for you, okay. And on behalf of you, I have subscribed and I, I always look for that. And if there is anything extra, I will just simply add, which is relevant, okay, which are relevant. And uh, please don't go for any other irrelevant things, no need, okay. Do you need to go through the doctor exam books? Well, doctor exam books are uh, mostly outdated now, okay. But if you want to go through those things, you're mostly, uh, most welcome to go through, no problem. Okay, some people ask me, all right, do I need to take the subscription from Osmosis? I have it and you will see uh, during the class, the way I have, I will take the class, it's almost, we will have those Osmosis effect as well. Okay, do I need to have the subscription from Platoma? No, I have it. And I have given all of those things as well in the books as well. So. Other than those questions, do you have any other question, please? Anyone? No? All right. Please communicate with me as much as you can because this is the key of your exam, okay? Don't, just please don't uh, sit there and listen to my voice. No, please. Try to communicate. At least say yes, no, whatever you can, okay? Dr. Alasar. Yes, sir. So, <clears throat> sorry, uh, like trying to read the materials from the drive. Uh, I, I get difficulty in opening uh, the documents on a tablet. Is there any specific, is it because of this connection or is there any specific thing uh, while using that? It takes a lot of time to open the- Yeah, it's, all, it's, the, it's for your connection. Document. Yeah, it's for your connection. Okay. Which document, which document? Can you please tell me which document exactly? Like just for example, I just opened the anatomy, like upper limb and spine. Mm -hmm. and I tried also the other anatomy, just mm -hmm. one problem. Mm -hmm. but it, it, it's like, in a, for other materials, Opens very easily. Yes. Okay. Materials. Okay. Because anatomy, it's anatomy stations. Problem. Yes, anatomy station is full of the illustrations as well. Okay, so it means the size of the file is a little bit more. Okay, so it will take a little bit time for you because if you have a weak connection, it will take some time. Okay. But it will open. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't need to study uh, the anatomy textbook, no need. Okay. So the preparation time, this is very important. Normally, candidates cannot have uh, proper concentration beyond the four months. So it's a sweet spot in between three to four months. Okay, it depends on your work, it depends on your time, how much time you can give here. All right, how can you prepare yourself, okay? So the way I have designed the course is, one day you are going to have your class, maybe tomorrow we are going to have our anatomy spine, okay? 
and day after tomorrow you have to give your mock okay so you are going to listen and you need to have a complete participation active participation during the session you have to say uh, what you are thinking about that okay picture what are the identifying points i am i will be not this like single person that i will be talking no you are the person you are going to give me some ideas about those things so that means you have to give and you have to actively participate during the course class please okay please i am requesting for all of you try to actively participate in every class so that it will be very easy for all of you okay don't just sit there and listen to this these lectures no after this class you will have a complete time for prepare yourself and i have designed the course i know exactly where you need some break okay for preparation so i have given some breaks as well for those and in every week i have keep one day break okay um for uh, the session uh, for the class and also for the mock so in six days you have to work you have to study okay and one day it's a uh, like uh, you can do whatever you want but for this coming three months you have to be dedicated you have to prepare with me you have to join the live sessions okay and you have to give the mocks that's how you can prepare the best and if you can follow the class if you can practice it with me in the mock i can guarantee you inshallah if you can perform well and if you are not stressed out during your exam inshallah you will pass this okay so the preparation time 3 to 4 months is enough i will say the 3 months is the best okay if you are consistent and also always remember consistency is the key always try to be consistent okay i want to see all of you in every live class okay in every live class please uh it's all about emphasis you will have a lots of lots of work maybe there is a birthday party there is a wedding okay but please put some emphasis for your exam try to be here every day okay because just think if you can simply do a hard work for 3 months and after 3 months you give your exam and you pass this then it's done okay there will be a simply new world for you so just for only 3 months of hard work and after that you are going to have a new life so think like that maybe you are simply um, maybe you are sacrificing a wedding it doesn't matter the 10 weddings will come after next year maybe okay you are sacrificing a vacation just sacrifice it for this same three months and join with us do this along with us right and after this after you are going to pass this you will have a new life just think like that okay any question how you can prepare yourself anything you want to ask please no question all right so about the expenses and other things i will say before your exam okay it depends on the things all right about the course i i think uh, all of you already know about this i have given you the course schedule as well i will try to stick to the course schedule and uh, about the time as well and of course every day uh, in the uh, noon or afternoon i will be updating about the timing and after each of the class i will be uploading all of those videos into the drive and you can see uh, the drive as well uh, i will show you after i finish this session i will show you how the drive works about the mock sessions almost all of you know how the mock sessions works okay after your class i will be doing this mock sessions try to participate in the mock uh, early and raise your hand okay because there are lots of lots of people who wants to participate but i will um, i i want to see all of you okay for whom i will be doing this hard work i i want to see all of your hands during the mock okay i want to see you are working hard for as well okay also the simulation mock you know all, all of those things about the simulation mock i hope yes no 
mostly mostly the mock sessions are important because it's very difficult to conduct the simulation mock so i conduct the simulation mock in between the courses okay uh, so uh, we had some simulation mock uh, before we start this course and inshallah after this course i will be doing again the simulation mock for september sessions so try to participate in those things all right guys so <clears throat> this is all about your orientation about the structure of your exam okay now i will show you um, how the drive works okay how the drive works let me just show you one thing okay Can you see this screen, everyone? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, so this is the drive you will be given, okay? So this is your study materials, okay? All the study materials are here. Anatomy. This is critical care. Clinical examination. Communication. I, I said one thing, the case file you're going to have, right? So I got the exact case file from the RCS for the communication. So I have given this as well in the study material. So if you have some time, you can see before the communication starts now, uh, it doesn't matter if you want to see or not, but before your communication, I'll be showing this in the class as well. Uh, this is your history taking. Patho, procedural skills. And there is some extra. Okay. In extra, if you want to look for some images, use this Mac means. Okay. Try to see if you want. This is Dr. Exam book, is here. Uh, this is the past MRCS. And this is the platoma. All of you have all of this access. Okay. So no need to take some extra subscription, extra money. No don't waste your money all right this is all about the study materials and um, there is some class recordings okay so after each class i will be uploading all the class recordings into those respected folders okay i have divided and i have organized everything along with after each mock sessions i will be uploading all the mock sessions in the mock recordings folder okay and I will be uploading again after this session, I will upload the orientation session here as well. This is our previous orientation session. So I have given this, I will be uploading our new, this orientation session after we are going to finish this. Okay, did you understand the basic concept of the drive, everyone? Sir, how I can go through Google Drive? Yes, I will be, uh, all of you who doesn't have till now the drive, uh, access, please text me. I will be giving you all the uh, drive access. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, just simply uh, give me your email address in in the Telegram. Okay. After uh, after we finish, we are going to add. Okay, okay all of sir. you, I will add in the drive access. You will have this in a Google Drive, and you will have this all of these things. Clear, everyone. Sir, have you, you just said that regarding the communication skill that you have some files from the RCS, something like that, right? Yes, this this one. So, uh, is that, uh, have you shared this one with the previous group also? Yes. I mean, I couldn't see that. Yes, it's there. Uh, then I look for it. Thank you. This is the exact file. This is the exact case file you are going to have. Okay. Did you found that, Dr. Parosh? We have kept that in the study material? Yes. Let oh, me yeah, show I got you. it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I this got is it. The previous, this is the previous one. Previous uh, folder. Communication. Same thing. Same thing. Mm, I got it. Yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, because uh, some we, we have some candidate for July, right? You are going to give your exam in July, right, Dr. Parosh? No, I'm giving in August. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot August. Okay. Yes. Okay, so this is it for your uh, ideas about the stations. Okay, did you understand, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, anyone has any other queries? Any further questions? You can ask, please. No problem. I will appreciate that.